What is good Foundation Nation? Today we're at one of the hardest courses in the country seeing what mindset's better, super aggressive or super conservative. Let's do it. So essentially how today is gonna work is this course pretty much, we're gonna play the eight hole loop. It includes most of the hardest holes on the course. There's a lot of opportunities for decision making. One of us is going to be making the aggressive decision every time. So on the tee of every hole, we're trying for birdies. We're trying to push the greens, scramble shots, trying to get as far up the fairway. Other person's trying to play super defensive, conservative, however you wanna word that. So basically disking down, staying away from the OB as much as possible laying up risky putts. This is gonna be a fun challenge video, but it also has some, you know, real world disc golf implications Very to Robbie it. Very Robbie C of us. This is um, probably, we probably stole his next video. We probably did. Robbie's probably done this video. Let's, you know what, let's just flip to see who determ who's aggressive and who's conservative. Are we, are we gonna do it winner chooses, or are you just gonna flip and say? Sure. Okay. You call it. Tails. I actually don't know what I want. Ooh. I feel like I need to take super aggressive because I can't look dumb if I mess up doing that. Okay. I'll take super aggressive. If I say I'm playing super safe and then just like can't execute a putter That's off fair. the tee, you're better at that. I'll be the conservative guy here. So aggressive play would be probably a flip up mid really, just pumping it. All right, so hole one, par three, 395 feet, OB all along the right. Safe play is typically playing for par. Uh, a lot of times I play for par, but going for birdie would be a full power flip up mid, taking on the OB by basically flipping up right at it. So that's what I'm gonna attempt to do. Full power mid range. Pretty good. Just missed some trees. Okay, I got, I got, I got a little bit bailed out, but it, I, if I had thrown it lower, that would've worked. I think I'm gonna go actually down to my zone. That is very conservative. And throw on hyzer. I'm just trying to make sure I don't do anything to go right. I want to avoid the right. There's OB right. Hey, there's nothing There's nothing dangerous about that. Oh, and did it stop for you a little bit? Yeah, I think I'm just up in there. Um, I should just have a little chip up and then lay up a putt if it's risky. <laughs> trying to think up what the most conservative play is here. Straight putter through here and just kind of like turn it towards the basket a little bit, but I want to make sure I don't go OB. Jump putt up and down here. Yeah. I mean, I can see the basket and you know, I'm only in C2. So I'm got, playing aggressive would be to run this putt right towards the OB. I didn't give it enough ante. I know. I did give it enough height. I'm gonna at least give myself that much. I'm gonna give it everything enough height to get to the basket. Aggressive wins hole one. Hole number two, par four, 970. Aggressive play is just gonna be a flip up distance driver for sure. I'm gonna play this Raider. This is pretty flippy, so I should be able to like, this is very aggressive and there's de definitely danger. I threw it high again. That's just a spike hyzer, Trevor. Hit something. Ain't it. That wasn't, that was not good. That's very left and I'm gonna have to do something crazy out of there. All right, the conservative play is just try to throw a stable to slightly overstable mid on a little bit of hyzer and try to keep it in the middle of the fairway or barely off the fairway left. Nice flat skip. Oh, it did not flat skip. Oh, good kick. Oh, friendly roll. The course likes you when you're conservative out here. All right, I'm just trying to get to that next manhole kind of the idea. I'm gonna go with another neutral mid, another MD3, try to throw it at high, on hyzer at the OB line and just let it fade back into the fairway. Oh, that was money. For forehand roller time, I gotta try and get as much distance as possible. Stay aggressive, Pete. Oh, I'm goaded. Get Turn. Out. I hate to say it. Did it make it back? I think it's safe. I've attempted this shot I'm about to attempt with so many different discs, but I just know that this Phoenix is actually stable enough. It's time to get, I gotta get aggressive. Oh, I hit my hand. Oh boy. I didn't hit my hand, I hit the disc. Hit the disc in my reach back. That could have killed me. Well, you were standing right there when I was doing a step out, so that's your own decision. These, these longer holes are gonna be the death of this strategy. Probably 320, 330 out. 
I would say. I'm gonna just go with my overstable Halo Thunderbird here. Slide hyzer at the OB. Get a good skip. We could we are in position where we could take a par. Yeah. Oh. We should have a we should have a putt putt for par. These here are just the lies that you dream of on the course. Perfect, perfect window for my specialty, full power flex shot. I'm goaded, I'm goaded. Trevor, holy wow. cow. That was sick. Aggressive is the way. All right, we're just gonna give this a really soft bid. Just lob it up there, make sure it just drops down flat more than anything. Yeah. Oh, this is for my six. Right. That was a pretty pathetic run. I'll say that. No big deal. Big deal. Stay aggressive, stay hungry. Hole three, we have 385 foot par three. Slow bend to the right. OB all on the right side. The basket's chilling up there. Typically, I want to just throw something and trust it to turn. I think I'm going to just go... You got to get a little stable, though. A little more Missing stable. Missing right would be a tough scene for you here. Go a little more stable and try to pull it over. You took that thing direct. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm going aggressive. Aggressive play is pretty much what I usually do. Take something with a little bit of stability. Got the CT. Look at that. We're changing colors a little bit. Got the CT photon buzz. Just going to rip it over. Hopefully it gets out of the Anheuser. Oh, it's tight. Oh. Mm. Hey, next time you can throw it flat. I'll give that a little bid. No big deal. Got to stay aggressive, stay hungry. I'm going to go slammer and just rip it. I know the forehand fades towards OB. Not worried about that. Got to stay aggressive. Oh, uh -oh. it slipped right out of my hand. Directly OB. Here's the problem, guys. It's getting more humid by the second. I don't have a chalk bag, and it's starting to become a factor. That's all I'll say. I genuinely think this is the most conservative play. Get a little straddle out forehand. I just want to make sure it doesn't fade OB, so I'm going to go to the proxy. Just kind of smooth one out there. Yeah. That, that's Good pretty work. smooth. Good work. Just going to chip it right in. Going to run it again. One of these times it's bound to go in. Took that outside of the line. That's, this is not the one. Luckily I didn't hit a tree directly in front of me. That's, that's frustrating. That's tough. Woo! These new Rainmakers, I haven't installed the glide yet. Alright, I don't really think there is a conservative or aggressive play here. Oh, I completely beg to differ there. What do you think the conservative? I think conservative plays back. You mean go back in? I, actually, I, I mean, I, I, I would disagree with that take, actually. The forehand is not that aggressive. Okay. Back to the forehand it's, it is. Yeah, I would say this hole is one where like that forehand is not that aggressive, the backhand is Here's like, how I think about it and why I ended up in my break 68 series coming back to the forehand. We're playing this like snaking par three. My mistake on the forehand is up to the right. If you get in there, you can get up and down really easily. If you mess up with the backhand and end up left, you have a tougher scramble. Very safe throw though. A little bit early right. I like that. Yeah. That's that conservative. That's conservative. All right, I'm going real slow. what I do. Honey, and I'm just pumping it, hoping it turns. It turned. And I missed aggressively left. We're just sticking on brand. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll, that'll do just fine. Matter of fact, get a little muddy with it. That's what aggressive players do. They end up nerd, just dirty. You gotta be dirty. You gotta yeah. be dirty. Flex. That's not that You need the peppermint. I needed the peppermint. Have a look. This is a pretty risky run. There's a big dip, divot, ditch, something behind the basket. So, laying this up. Yep. Yep. I'm, I'm ringing this up. Oh my. This conservative Charlie over here. Taking some paws. It's really direct. Very good. Trying to think through the conservative play. Typically, I go backhand roller here. And while, in my opinion, that's a less risky play, it is a little bit more of an aggressive play because the forehand 
you're in bounds the whole time. You know you're gonna hit in bounds. It's just a 50-50 shot if you roll OB or not. So I typically go backhand roller because it pushes me a lot farther. The forehand's probably the more conservative play. So I'm gonna go with this destroyer here on a forehand hyzer. Rip it out there. Now that man plays safe. Look at that, you even landed on the flatter spot. You don't get too much of a roll. Yeah. See what happens down there. Should I just, should I just rip a hyzer flip through this right jab? Taking the wild honey. And we are just giving her some speed. Speed. I am speed. Oh, you hit the gap. That's huge! Cut! <laughs> it's gonna be so left. <laughs> That's never making it right. Left. Oh. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, <laughs> that was like a mile left. <laughs> All right, while we walk up to that absolutely monster sick roller, you may notice it's a sunny day and that means we're rocking the Gooder shades again. We've teamed up with Gooder for this video. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about them. Disc golf sunglasses, kind of a hot topic. Some players wear them on tour, some don't. Uh, but the key to having a good disc golf sunglass is having them lightweight and having them those polarized lenses to make sure you've got the best quality vision out there on the course. The thing about Gooder that makes them great is you do have that lightweight, you've got that comfort, they stay on your head when you're throwing your shot, and they've got polarized lenses. And let me tell you the best part, these are only $25. They are plenty affordable, which means you can check out so many of their stylish colorways they have, and if you lose a pair, no big deal. Also, you can have 10 different colors and it's not gonna hit the bank account too hard. Another great thing is, if you try them out, they're not your favorite. They do 30 day free returns on all their sunglasses and you also get a one year warranty with these shades. So don't be afraid to take them out, play disc golf in them. They are truly the best disc golf sunglasses set out there. Highly recommend checking them out. I'm rocking the Circle G style right now. This is the freshly baked man buns colorway. They have all kinds of fun names for all the different colors, but they have everything from really loud shades to like the one you'll see Hunter wearing. That's a little more of your classic shades. So they have everything you possibly need. Fully polarized, lightweight, comfy, starting at $25. It's incredible. If you want to check these out, you're going to go to gooder.com slash foundation. That's G-O-O-D-R.com slash foundation and use code foundation. And that's going to get you free shipping on your first order. And if you don't like them, send them back within 30 days, money back guarantee. Plus you get that one year warranty. So I highly recommend you check them out. Let us know in the comments what pair you're picking up. Let's get on to this monster drive. It was, it was like two degrees from being incredible. I didn't, I didn't think it was close. It came out of hand and I was it like, there is no it, As it started cutting down the hills like this, and it started standing up, oh. and it got to straight as it went OB. I've been shooting um, these, this wood line. To get to the wood line where the basket is, is 360. The wood line straight in front of me is 320. Um, I feel like the most conservative play is just ripping a forehand at that back wood line and letting it fade over there, because if I go... I think you're gonna carry that. Well, if I think if I go backhand, I have to carry over OB. This I don't have to go over OB at all. Just go with my other destroyer. Yeah. Drip beforehand. Pretty good. Oh. That's gonna be close. Oh. Did not, did not push it as far as I thought I did. The roller went OB, but Hunter actually said it got pretty close to being perfect. I now have a pretty open shot to try and get in there and take a par. Uh, that being said, this is a very hard shot. I'm gonna basically just rip a distance driver and try to get in there. This needs to flex. It needs to flex. It needs to flex. Miss that! Oh, it's goaded. That's the best shot of my life. I can't lie to you, that was kind of dirty and we might be taking a par. Aggressive play style might be back. You even got a clap from Hunter. I mean, that, that was disgusting. This uh, thick cabbage right here just saved my butt. Um, I already pulled it off, but I was chilling right here in this thick stuff. I just sk skipped up, checked, rolled right into this, and I was safe by like a foot. So yeah, now he's got another chip shot into the basket. I think the forehand's probably the safest again. We're gonna go with the FD3 here. Yep. All right, should have a look for par. Hey, All that's right. a that's a par right there, folks. Don't don't worry about it. Two, two pars. Two very different ways to make par. That is true. But two pars nonetheless. It's like there's just two different ways to think about it. You know? Yeah. All right. Hole six, 1,275 foot par five, hardest hole on the course here. Uh, just go PA three and just chip it up to the corner. No. Get around that. Yeah, six eight foot, bro. Let me show you. Dang it! Put a hair too much hyzer on it. I, it might be okay. We'll see what happened. We're going driver. We're looking for a skip. 
at about this much angle. We want it to skip forward and then tug left at the end, and I am precision. Exactly 23 degrees. I am, I am the precision. Oh, oh. Oh my goodness. That might be incredible. That was a good shot. I will tell you for free, that was not exactly what I was trying to do because it came out of my hand early and a little bit too high and it flipped up and saved me. So thank you Maverick for that flip up. All right, conservative play in the woods, cut off height, just jump putt out to where my drive should be and play from there. Actually, I'm not even gonna jump putt. I'm just gonna actually putt. Yeah. Never belittle a shot in the middle. Goal is to try to get towards that next manhole. Keep the mid in the mid. Wow. Oh, oh you're good. It's my chance to do something of relevance in this video right now because I threw this thing right down Broadway and now I got a good distance driver. I mean, I don't even think in my wildest dreams I could bury this hole. If I can make a par and hope Hunter takes like a double, that would be sick. Heiser flip. Flip. Because that's my best shot. I'm a really good Heiser flip player. Oh, I've laced it. No way, I just, I just gets flippy. Apparently not. Oh, oh what a gig. Okay, here's what's funny though, is I feel like that disc was flippy on the West Coast, but we were at elevation. So it should have been the other way around. Maybe I just lost strength since then. All right, I'm gonna go, uh, I don't have a good run up, so I'm gonna go stand still and really overstable. Um, we're just trying to get this up, crest the hill and get left. Oh my God. Yep. You got a long shot. Yeah, okay. Are you gonna lay that up, Mr. Of course, Sinkai? of course. I gotta, gotta lay up, lay up, take a double out here, I think. That's fine. All right, this is no problem. Big hyzer around the corner here, fortunate kick. Uh, I'm trying to get as far down there as possible to have an easy up and down for par going Venom, double stamp. I may have, I may have gone a little too close to the sun. Oh, great kick. I think that's gonna be just fine. I pushed it a little too aggressive. All right, we're gonna conservatively go for this. So <laughs> typically I would throw like my MD3 um, and that risks flipping over into the right stuff or not making it there. So instead I'm gonna disc up to a vulture, um, shouldn't risk flipping over. I'm gonna put it on hyzer so if anything I go left and I should be able to get plenty of distance to get across. Uh-oh. Uh, I swear, Hunter, I swear. Oh, oh my, my gosh, that was so close to going in. I thought, I thought for sure that went in. Oh my <laughs> gosh, that would've been hilarious. Just going for it here, throwing the Malta, gonna force it over a little bit. Throw it in basically for a birdie. My first birdie on this hole, coming right up. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take in some of Hunter's vibes there in that last row. Oh, it's stable. So stable. What the heck? Hit that tree, sit. Putt. All right, it's putting. I'll, okay, I gotta give that Malta some credit because I've thrown that Malta before. I don't have my normal bag today, but I've thrown most of these discs. And uh, that Malta was not that stable if I remembered correctly, but I apparently did not remember correctly. Mm. Really needed that for morale, really badly. Oh no. Oh man, now I, now I really, really needed it for morale. Dang it. Could have got a two shot swinger. Excuse me sir, I'm still out. No dude. Ooh. Excellent technique there. I'm, I'm so hot I might fall over dead. It's very humid out here. It is so hot. We are swimming. 690, par four. Conservative play. Where's the score at right now, by the way? Um, you got me by four. Oh. Not over. Conservatively, trying to hold on my lead, the conservative play is to go with what you're most likely to hit the gap with, which would be a mid for me. So I go mid, probably mid around the corner, and then a fairway hyzer in if I play it perfect. So I'm gonna go with the trash panda dune here on a hyzer flip. It is my tee, right? No, it's no, your tee. Hyzer flip, honey, hard. Just thrown real hard. Hard. Real hard. See if I can keep it in my hand. Gosh, the wrong time not to have a chalk bag. Here we go. Sneak. Oh, it's left fairway, we love that though. Oh. Oh, it didn't. That's not the end of the world. Not at all. Oh, yank Oh, it. you're doomed. Ah! Get doomed. You, sir, are doomed. Dang it. Could've been worse. I'm gonna go forehand, try to smooth it up there. Little flex, get to the corner. Oh, a lot of flex. That's a lot of flex. Oh, oh yeah. wow, what a kick though. What the heck? 
Just if you if you blinked at the right time, it looked like it just threw a great shot. Listen, there are a lot of aggressive things I could do right now from this, namely the flex forehand. That's way too safe for my taste. I'm throwing a backhand roller through this left gap. Ooh. I'm getting it down with the it. If I get it down, I'd say that's it. I'm getting down with the it. How over under on amount of seconds before this thing hits a tree? Over under, over under one. I'll go over. Okay, you taking the over? I think you're not hitting the first. Tree. Uh, under. South's taking the under. I don't think it's getting down to a roller. I think okay. it's hitting a tree before oh. it hits the ground. Oh. Respect, I respect that. And one. one. Oh, oh. What a line. What a line though. That works. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to put a timer up. Yeah. My one Mississippi, I don't think quite counts. And one. Oh. All right, we're just gonna try to chip into this inner four, uh, inner fairway. Get up and down for a bogey here. Hold on, sir. Oh, watch out! Huh? Oh, sorry. It just oh. it skipped. Oh. It might have. Oh, pushed there you go. You saw it. Oh, you saw it. Yeah, I rolled. Oh, nice. We'll roll. Hey, mine. You saw it. All right, I, that sick roller put me right in the sweet spot. Got a little pinched hyzer on the right fairway here. If I can hit this, I can make a par. Go with the Maverick, just try to hit on hyzer. Oh, good wow. stop. Good stop, dude. This? I right, just immature from the, immature from the stick there. Couldn't find it again, couldn't find the zone. Mm. That's because you're throwing a Maverick. That is not my fault. All right, just got to throw a little Spy Kaiser. Color Glow Thunderbird action. Oh, it got over yeah. there. Great shot. That work. All right, we're going to blitz the, the Slammer forehand. Just blitz it. Oh, I didn't turn it. Man, you forget how much a new, sti a new Slammer is, like, actually an overstable disc. I say the bogey here. Oh, I left it short. Classic conservative miss there. Oh! Oh! Strattler. Oh! Hey, all of a sudden, that's a bogey. And just like that. I, I, the aggressive play is, is, well, I mean, I'm getting some amazing kicks, but the aggressive play so far really only sucks on the first three holes, but you make it past those first three holes, you're good to go. <laughs> all right, final hole. I'm down three right now. That's an 850 foot par four. My only goal is to somehow make the only birdie I've ever made on this hole. Uh, and I don't even know if that's possible. Wild honey, get wild for him. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, keep going right. Now come left. Now get, oh, it's gonna be. Pretty good. Yeah. I think I got caught at the end and I threw it too high and I dislocated my hip. So I don't- Other than that, great shot. I'm gonna just go forehand. I feel like that's the safest play. Oh, that's why. <laughs> There's one in the woods. Wait for it. Oh. oh, oh. oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Scoop. Hey, good job. Oh. Try to smooth the fairway driver. Throw my passion relatively flat. Just try to get it up there. It's a dead straight shot. Oh, low. Counter skip. Well, that's not a bad result. Something. We're going to go Warbird and try and flex it. This is just going to be impossible, basically. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to throw this hard for the fans. Oh! Oh! Wow. Oh! Oh! What a shot. <laughs> Dang, dude. That was, that was almost big time. That, yeah, that was great. All right, I'm going to disc up to my destroyer here and try to make sure I push past that tree. Um, everything wants to go left here, so I got to kind of get it almost flat. I threw it on so much Skip high, so it? hard. Skip! Okay. Dang it. A little pitch up. Take a one, two, three, four, five, six. You hear that? You throw in. Do you hear that? I knocking. gotta throw in. I've gotta throw in to make He's a tie knocking. potentially. And you gotta get up and down. The chance of making this is taking the hyzer up there wide and crashing it in. If I miss, I'm gonna skip into the woods, but what does that matter? No way. Oh, oh deep. man. What a line, though. Holy cow. Stick! Oh! Maybe just enough of a touch. If I make this putt, Hunter's got to make his 20 footer or else it's playoff time. This is very doable. No! I'm missing short? Oh, my gosh. 
Probably it's the saddest thing that's ever happened. Go out and lay up. Gosh dang it, missing it short. That is just, that's clown. It's not aggressive enough. That was not aggressive enough right there. Well, there you have it. The conservative play wins by one. My personal approach to disc golf has always been, take it or leave it, take it for what it's worth, is I think that when you're just getting into the sport and you're learning a course, you're striving to be better, go out there and play conservative until you can par a hole. Once you're playing conservative and you learn how to par that hole consistently, not I've had a par on it ever, then you start pushing the gas. So if I come out here and hole one, let's say hole one, I can par it every single time, learn what it looks like to play aggressive and try to push for that birdie. Um, that's how you learn to score, is you gotta be able to take par consistently every time if you ever wanna score. Typically, you learn to take par by playing conservative, and then the aggressiveness comes once you're good enough at playing conservative. But you know what? Comment down below what you prefer. Do you prefer to play conservative or play more aggressive in disc golf? Don't forget to check out Gooder, links in the description down below. Um, huge shout out to them for supporting what we do. Honestly, the best glasses if you play disc golf with sunglasses on, these things will not come off your freaking head. I almost oh. just fell over. I threw my head around so fast. They won't come off your head. Um, they look great. They feel great. Super lightweight. Not to do another ad read, but check the link in the description down below. We'll see you in the next one.